Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can set up and add Google Analytics to your WordPress website. We will be adding the code to your site without using any plugins. So we will have the analysis something like this. So let's get started. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. To begin with, let's open our sample website. So this is our sample site and we will be adding Google Analytics code here. We assume that you do not have the Google Analytics setup. So let's first set it up. For that, simply search Google Analytics. So this is the website, click on it. This is a completely new setup, so you will see this screen. Please note, you must have a Gmail account to do so. I am already logged in or else you will be asked to log in. Click on Start Measuring. Give the account name, any name you want. You may also take Google products and services, but I will leave it. Click on Next. Give a property name for your website. You can choose your country and this will correct your time zone as well. Click on Next. Choose the relevant industry category. Also choose the relevant business size. And tick the options for Google Analytics uses. Anything that is suitable. And click on Create. Agree the terms. You can choose the relevant options here. You can tick them as required. But I will leave it. Save. Now you can choose the platform, whether it be a website, Android apps or iPhone. Let's choose a website. Add your website URL here. And the stream name. And continue stream. Here's your measurement ID. And here's your analytics code which we will be adding to the website. Let me quickly copy this to Notepad. Now let's add this to our website. For that, go to WordPress dashboard wp-admin, enter the credentials. Now we are on the dashboard. There are some plugins which can add the Google Analytics code, but we will not be using any plugin but some codes. So go to Appearance and Theme Editor and ThemesFunctions.php. Scroll down. So we will be adding some code here. This is the code we need to use and this will be provided. Copy the code and paste to functions.php. Now we need to add our Google Analytics code. In case you want to recheck the code, you can find it here. You can copy this or use the code from the notepad. It's actually the same. Now replace the text, add your Google Analytics code with the actual code. So it's pasted. Now update file. So the file has been updated. Just to reconfirm if the code has been applied or not, open the website, right click and click on view page source. Press Ctrl plus F. Let's search this measurement ID. So as you can see, this is here. It means the code has been applied to our website. It will take some time to actually see the data appearing here. And by the way, to get this menu, you can click on this admin settings. Anyway, let's check the report. Since we just set it up, it's zero at the moment. Let me quickly try to open this website in the Tor browser to see if it will display any result. Let's check the real time.
I just refreshed it. So you can see one is over here. And now it's displaying too. This basically means the configuration has been done correctly. If you want to check results, later come back to Google Analytics website and check the reports. For those who want to set up Google Analytics to your own WordPress dashboard, you can do that too. However, you will need to add a plugin for that. If you plan to use the plugin, you will not need to add the code manually. The plugin will do it for you. Anyway, in the dashboard, go to plugins and add new and search for Google Kit. So this is the plugin and it is by Google itself and it has more than 1 million installations. Install it and activate the plugin. Start setup, sign in with Google, choose your email address, tick both of these options, continue, proceed, allow. We will configure the search console later, but let's just add the site. Go to my dashboard. You can add other services too, but for now let's connect the analytics. Sign in. Choose the option. Continue. Configure analytics and proceed. Choose email, check options and continue. So the analytics has been connected and you will be able to see all your data here. But as mentioned, it might take up to 48 hours for the data to appear in the dashboard. And if you want to check the real-time reports, or don't want this plugin, you can always check the official analytics website. Hope this lesson was useful. Thank you very much.